My cash spending going from a debit or card user to an all cash user was one of my biggest aha moments for me. It's really what tackled my spending issues and allowed me to rein in my spending. I didn't realize how much I really depended and, and stayed motivated with visual things. And one of those things is seeing all of the cash that you have to spend until your next paycheck in front of your face. <laughs> At first it was scary for me. The funny thing is, is when I started the cash envelope method, I felt fear. I was afraid to spend my cash, um, which was really surprising to me. I wasn't expecting to feel that. And so I would literally swipe my debit card just so I could keep cash in my envelopes. <laughs> because it was, oh, I was terrified of running out of it. I was terrified of like having to go get food for my son and then opening my envelope and just feeling like a failure. And so I would swipe my debit card, which led to overdraft fees. And like all of a sudden my budget was all messed up because I used my debit card instead of the cash I budgeted for. And it turned into a huge mess. One of the things that helped me overcome that fear is realizing that I had a plan in place for a reason and I had to trust my plan. I had to step away and give up that control and give it to my budget and trust that process. I think for me also is implementing a, um, I kept a check checking account buffer in my checking account and carrying a miscellaneous cash envelope. Knowing that I always had that miscellaneous cash in my wallet just in case made me feel a whole lot better. So the food envelope. When should you use your designated food envelope? Is going out with friends considered fun or food spending, like dinner out with friends? When you stop by and get ice cream for your son after going to the park, is that part of the fun activity or is that a food envelope? And for me, I tell my readers, whatever makes the most sense to you. Sometimes for me, that means that one day we go to the park and get ice cream, it comes from my food envelope. The next day we go out and get ice cream after the park and I use my fun envelope. It can go either way. The most important thing I think is, there. yes, there has to be some consistency between what you're using your envelopes for. But when it comes to things like that, and maybe you can even establish like hard rules. Okay, ice cream after the park, it's a fun activity. Dinner out with friends, it's a food activity. For me, I don't, I mean, I don't really categorize it that way. It's like, oh, whatever is, you know, in my wallet at the time. Cause I don't keep all of my cash envelopes with me at all times. Usually it's just my miscellaneous envelope. And most of the time I have my food envelope on me. Um, so I think it, how you categorize your spending has to make sense to you in your mind and what is easiest for you. All in all, it comes down to convenience because the thing that you don't wanna do is make your budget so complicated you get frustrated and give up. And let me tell you, your food envelope should not be the reason you give up. <laughs>